this is hawk tv this is breaking news hello folks i am quick and the host of the hawk tv and this is our breaking news story i think today being fifth of uh, september um in between the hours of uh, 5 p.m uh going i think there is this breaking news that uh, alan kwajo chamantin uh finally or again may i say officially has thrown in the tower that he will no longer or would not want to contest the upcoming uh uh uh, uh contest to select the flag bearer of the new patriotic party at the back of this alan kojo chamantin as we know before this very moment we nadie nimni se super delegate congress no but also eh miensa ntina chese miensa no ye hwe kwan se november no obetimi abon ho modern maybe perhaps per what political pundits eh ke kanone political watchers ke kan obetimi abedru e bia be first and i said yeah you know how things will pan out until just this evening and i say you may been fifth of september alan diabe to uh he will no longer uh would uh, go forward to seek that you know political office if you like that of the flag bearership of the npp now near stepping down came on the back of two or three things but in less than a while longer with the two things alan detail in the press statement in uh it does appear say uh, super delegates congress no more you know i think the establishment you know did things so much to us it were skewed toward one particular candidate or no not quite to say not or the favorites within the contest of all the uh 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 you know one way among the uh nine people now he also says he said men crawford on so one of us can on so uh as for more shema about on echo years so we're being chased out many of them were harassed including the two region who are or society as example here can say papa no you know this and battle a uh, supporter of allen is still at the hospital struggling or battling for his life so among other things alan detail as his cause to resign this come as as a shock to many people including political pundits in our you know some institutions of higher learning say they never or were even in the position to anticipate say alan will walk out of the door or walk out of the race so there's a shocking but folks uh we'll try to share with our listeners and viewers of some high place intelligence sources are the edema now the hawk tv has the team of this television station are made of high you know renowned investigative journalists with a lot of intelligence angles are take a serious listening to some analysis here and these are high place intelligence sources within the governing party ah yeah this answer me and then you can make a sense out of it one it came as say in all of this you know going back and forth and prior to say super delegates you know now where i say a candidate for example like kennedy kwame japan if the push come pusher would perhaps throw a support or the Bema Allen going forward, assuming without admitting, says Sebia or no be play a be a third position or fourth position, it depends on how things pan out. You know, then it will be a great expectation, say Ken will throw that support to Allen. Now, eventually, after the elections, you know, it's so clear, say Ken Ababe talk Ababe did second, Allen it did third, but still, one will say, say. Alan cannot be described as a common denominator in the whole equation because still can be described as a force to reckon. Because third position, still it can be said that if Alan go to the main elections now, 
impossible to obey to me and make you wonder. So, what could be the main reason why Alan would have to draw or pull out of the race at this very crucial time? That's the answer. Now, the other intel also suggests is okay. Now, Kennedy a bit play, we be play see second year. Now, Alan about third position. Could that help Alan to rise up to the occasion on the fourth of November, Nana? Well, in the camp or the corridors of Alan, we will read this. Uh, this may be a tall order somehow. So, it would then call for Alan to perhaps save a certain political credibility. Mind you, they are happy near Nana. Quite as Alan Nankasani political credibility you know, now has been you know washed off it's like he his his political credibility has hit the iceberg and so now may be wanting find a life oxygen to survive so what would alan do okay would this be the time for alan to walk out of the door the political door and then throw a support for another candidate and well folks i think that we have to watch the space coming sir and no a better saying and he very likely say Alan will stay to an A in Muse. A beer in the coming days, or best have a announcement to say, Siciano, or be or could drink on in the family, no my dream, I say him fan and the political career, or best send the Will that be there and no be through the support and see the American de Japon and getting closer to November 4th? Nana, folks, put question mark on this one because it's going to play into the news wires pretty soon on this the third one that comes shock and it will shock many asa alan uh, fennison vice president alhaji baumia now there is this individual in mpp who many see as a very candid smooth operator and does so many things very shocking ayawa the current minister for agric now let me take you back to something that happened uh, early uh, early part of the year there were a group of mpp parliamentarians numbering 90 or more who came with a mantra say uh ken must go ken must go no more come on uh, uh, fence and finance minister right but our high place source actually said a nipa no share some mantra each year now oh yeah allegedly oh pushy Sa M P Sinis or Mo and Crusade and Omon Court Sa Drive was where was a current agreed minister Brian a champion. Before as they will realize eh, so shechri so on shechri nesa allegations and were flying. Eh. Before their very eyes, not Brian, Aqua Koji position did that. So our high place source in the NPP caucus in parliament and were shocked. Because Obian Teshi Wahu said he didn't put poppy up, say a man post and a year man post. Woman, it's a nice brine, a cut as a post, you know. Against the back of said, uh, Katie Hammond, there no be any media or echo. A beam brine allegedly, as our intel suggests, he said he was doing so many things behind the scenes, if you like, was pressing the knobs of these MPs to champion a certain agenda and then when he succeeded then he walked out of it smoothly and took the position a beam yeah can say all the entire eastern region a yeah it can i say a political ground for brian so we are president to we are why you now person we need the eastern region and as a sad corridor now, then it will be like a bona fide property that you have to see brian a champion now it's beginning to play out to say brian a champion is in this equation for a very good purpose you know <laughs> call it politically in the alternate benefits and it's an entire eastern blog in a cinema is on a question mp so more who in naran also no pay some allegiance to brian a champion now brian is working in with this intelligence here and so i can actually say he's working all up to becoming if you like the running mate to my 
vice president if the vice president succeed to become the flag bearer of the npp so against the backdrop of the names being played out like chairman sabunsu uh friend is saying minister for education uh, yeah dr educhum chairman sabunsu napo and all the personalities we've had it may come as a shock to many people that brian a champion would emerge or perhaps would tend to be the the running mate to uh, uh the vice president these are the hardcore intelligence playing up in the sense that brian has positioned himself in that area and as a smooth schemer as many will call him very candid in the political circles are working away all out you know in the household of the vice president alahaji muhammad baumia so a dream pen pen so be a dear brown brian aye kudrono it does appear so all is smooth and the vice president can sail smoothly in the corridors of eastern region and other places brian a champo a lay hands on it pretty fluid situation and the brian a champo power intelligence you know actually said and neoma why yeah yeah all this time we now be see and pen so you know Actually, about pretty fast earlier than even they all anticipated said this is how things will play out and if we are here and say even brandy champon is also pressing on other candidates to as it were step out uh, it may be for a very you know good reasons primarily in your into a benefits or for very good political reasons this uh intelligence are yeah picker yeah picker and impeachable a high play source and it also it's also coming in its form allegations against some persons who believes that this is the time they would have to play the game such that it's like nobody nobody come close but then like a sealed this is how we want things to be done and to brian a champion i know say a number of mps nibi breso i a bit disappointed in him for even ken must go a finance minister no arrangement but he took a swipe out of this and did his own thing quickly before they realized he had gone for a ministerial position then at the same time brian is also working scheming in and out of this just purposely to see to it that once upon a time if brian a champion was tapped or was marked as a, a potential presidential material the shock and all that may come to many people in mpp including Ghanaians, will be now to realize that that position of becoming president has come too close the proximity will be that he may go with baumia as a running mate to baumia and then it would be that vice president may run for maybe one term and the rest brandy champion takes over it's a high place intelligence we are keeping close eye on it and how it's going to pan out a lot is happening we still believe that alan has a lot of consultation you know to do within the system and as to whether or not he will now throw his support to Kennedy japan that is also one intelligence we've laid hands on and how it's going to play out because it will be politically incorrect for him to resign today or step down today and then also go ahead to endorse that i am going to support Kennedy japan or some sort no so he need to take a breather and then watch this space in watching the space to see how Kennedy japan is going to handle the next line of campaigning gearing towards the fourth november no, would be a justification for whether it is prudent for Allen to endorse Kennedy Japan and then we are going to see a massive race between uh, Vice President Baumia and Kennedy Japan but in all of this Brian H. Champon is taking a massive role working underground in many things that would, would shock some MPP Star Wars and that's also would, would, would come at the back of say and in Ibu Omar, we can say per our intel, no? Brian started way back and played the game, schemed his way smoothly 
like a kgb operative all up to this very day that whatever brian worked towards is showcasing and is bearing fruit as to the vice president slot will just come on a silver platter on his lap stay tuned as we close up on this intelligence and we gauge there will be more in subsequent bulletins of what and the happenings in the government party the new patriotic i'm quick one and i'll be back